Did you invent this? Yeah, yes. In, uh, under a moment of frustration and wanting some grain for Thanksgiving meal to make some bread. How do we thresh this in a hurry on a small scale? So, <laughs> so here we got some some grain. It doesn't uh, work so well if you have too long a uh, stalk on it. So you want pretty much just the grain heads. And we're just going to start out with a little bit. This is very low tech. It takes a drill and a little bit of all thread and some chain and a bucket. And that's about it. I did end up putting a bushing there so that I didn't eat away the plastic on the top of the lid. You know, a combine's only a quarter million dollars. You could have got one of those. I could have the bank own my property in no time. <laughs> Well, they look whole, but when you feel them, there's no seeds in there. Oh, wow. And look at all that down there. At the bottom, there's plenty of seeds. So you take this, and the next step is to winnow it. And you can winnow it just in the wind, or you can winnow it using a fan, or you can more or less do it by hand. Okay, you got it. You put it in this little pan now. Yep. And you got, got this little pan. fan. And a catcher underneath. All right. And you're going to start blow, blowing off the tap like this. And toss it back. Do it again. There we go. It's pretty clean. There's a couple of big little parts that actually might have seed in them. So you just break that seed out. There we got it. And it's good. <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> so this is the next step up thresher. This is an old um, Kemp chipper, wood chipper, that I took off the five horsepower gasoline driven engine and put in a one horse electric motor and I slowed down the gear ratio so it spins a lot slower so it doesn't beat up the grain too much. Um, and then on the inside there's, there's the beading wheels and then there's a rough uh, three quarter inch hole screen. And I sealed off most of the bottom portion of that screen so it holds the grain in there until it's fully threshed and then the small portions of the grain fall out through there and then the larger um, chaff and um, straw comes out the back there. So it gets kind of noisy when we get this going, so I wanted to describe it first. You can see most of the, the, uh, the heads and the chaff came out here and most of the grain came out there, although there's a fair bit of grain there. So you just pick off the, the light stuff and then sweep up the grain and winnow it like we did the last batch. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about harvesting, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.